long time no see. I'm so sorry. It's just been one of those one of those things where I keep saying I'm going to get online and I'm going to update this channel on after the hysterectomy and another week goes by, then another month goes by. So I decided today is a, a day that I'm at home. Excuse the mess behind me because I'm also, many of you know, I also have a large beach, beach lovers community and I also have my um, store. And what you're seeing behind me are samples coming in. Matter of fact, this is a sample that just came in. And I had to go take pictures, so I have some makeup on. So since I took my pictures already and I have makeup on, I thought, let me just get on here and uh, give you an update. So, I'm 60 now. That means it's been seven years, I believe, since my hysterectomy. You'll probably notice that I've lost weight. So, let's go back to the beginning. Um, I get a lot of questions asking me about weight. That seems to be a very important um, issue for many women when they're deciding whether or not they're going to have a hysterectomy. And I get it. I mean, I'm a fitness instructor, as you know. I'm a yoga teacher. And whether I'm, I mean, I show up no matter what my weight is, but it was really becoming a battle for me. So going back to the beginning, you'll notice if you go back seven years ago when I'm talking first about having a hysterectomy, my face was probably like this. And then uh, it was roughly two years that I didn't have any issues with my weight. After that, I started having, going up and down, up and down in weight and I did have the um, hormone pellets put in which helped a little bit. Of course, I'm always active, whether I'm teaching at my studio or if I'm at home or if I'm hiking and kayaking with my friends, I do keep moving. So I'm a very, very active person. The weight still came on and probably I was close to my heaviest, I want to say 12 to 18 months ago. Since then, I've really, really, really gotten my nutrition under control um, I did need to get some help in that area sometimes if you need help you need to just pick up the phone and call somebody I was really struggling right now I am following and have been following for the past uh, I want to say 12 months now a Mediterranean low carb nutrition program I um, I still have my wine. I still have my Mick Ultra. I just don't have a lot of it. And um, as far as meals, I'm eating roughly three meals a day for breakfast. I'll have my protein shake, which is just easy for me when I'm trying to get out the door to get over to the studio and teach my classes. Lunch is usually a salad with protein on it. Protein is key. And dinner is whatever my husband makes. Um, he is Italian, so it is does tend to be follow the Mediterranean inspired nutrition program um, pretty easily, you know, because he is that's his heritage. So most important is um, make sure you're getting the protein your body needs. Protein also will help you feel full instead of going with a lot of carbs and um, empty nutrition type of things, which are like processed foods and everything. Water. I drink three of these a day. This is a, I think, yes, this is 32 ounces. I do drink three of those a day, but like I said, I am active. So the, um, Drinking the water is not a problem for me, especially on the days that I'm teaching at the studio. Um, I do keep it with me. I'm working today. I'm in my office, which is what you're seeing. So here's my water right with me. So to answer all the questions, yes, it affected me. The hysterectomy did affect my metabolism and my weight. And I am a fitness instructor. I'm not going to lie to you. This doesn't happen to everybody. It happened to me. And like I said, the first two years I was fine. But I don't think that should be a reason for you not to have a hysterectomy. Um, if you've been with me any length of time, you'll know that the reason I did was because 
it was really affecting my quality of life. I was hemorrhaging um, every other month, literally that I couldn't get off the uh, couch. I was bleeding so heavily, I was going through a maxi pad every 20 or 30 minutes. And that would go on for a day and a half. I mean, one time I ended up in the hospital of it because I could not get the, um, couldn't get the bleeding to stop. I couldn't get the pain. The pain was ungodly. I actually thought I was having appendicitis. And that was, that hospital visit is what put me over the edge. That my health was more important than the weight, the numbers on the scale. So please don't let that affect you if you're on the fence about having a hysterectomy. If, you know, you're concerned about your weight. Yes, the weight went up, and yes, you can see the weight has gone down. I've been very focused on it. Again, I am seven years from my hysterectomy. It wasn't overnight, but I didn't gain the weight overnight. I'll stand up so you can see. I don't know what you're going to see if I stand up here, but you can see that I've also lost the midsection. Um, it's just one day at a time. Most important exercise I could have recommend for anybody is yoga 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 i am a yoga teacher i teach what's called gentle flow yoga which is focused on moving the body from pose to pose in a way that makes sense so you're not jarring your body from being in a sitting position to getting up many of us as we get older that's a little bit more difficult to get up and down quickly yoga will help you also with that but it also helps slim your midsection slim your legs you know your strength balance 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 and flexibility and you'll also notice toning from yoga so if you're not doing any type of exercise right now please take a look at um, yoga I'll put a link below I also do online private training uh, yoga classes so if you're interested in practicing with me reach out to me and other than that I just wanted to get in here and give you an update it's been a rough road. It's been a rough road, but I think I'm finally at the end of that rough road. At 60, <laughs> I started this channel when I was 50, so I've been doing this 10 years now. I hope you're having an amazing day. And just keep on keeping on. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be uh, updating more and more often on this channel. I'm getting back into, back into a routine. I apologize for that. And, um, the links of what I'm doing will be below this video and see me at howtostayfitover50.com or denisesanger.com or my store is ilovebeachtrips.com.